Now live from Studio 550, it's McGraw in the morning on the Big 550 KTRS. 854 on the Big 550 KTRS. Team Charles. Charles D'Angelo has a friend of mine. It's got to be close to two years now. October is two years. Can you believe it? Two years you'll have been on the program, have kept your weight off now. Two years. Two years going strong. Um, it's a uh, program. In, well, the story, we, we missed you last month. We were in uh, Paris. Uh, and then we'll, we'll have you back because um, some people probably might have done it a little bit too much for the 4th of July weekend. <laughs> Spontaneity lends itself to making a lot of error, right? Right, right, right. So... Um, you know what? It's it's interesting because I have I, I I've done very well and I've struggled with it just like everybody else. And you have to sort of get back, but it, it's really uh, losing weight and exercising. It it really is all about getting off the couch and just starting. Is get it not? into a pattern. I would say. I yeah. say one tip that everybody can really enact today is becoming planful in both your eating and exercise, making it routine so that it's not something that you have to think a lot about but rather making it organized and structured ahead of time. The reason that you're tremendously successful with maintaining your weight and people like Christine, who actually sent you to Christine me, Buck. Yeah, Christine Buck from Channel 11, uh, is that we design what you're going to eat in advance so that when you come to see me, we are actually talking about this is what time we're going to have breakfast every single day, and we commit to that. This is what time a couple hours later we're going to have a snack. This is what time we're going to have lunch. Because we both know every single diet works if it's a healthy one. I don't endorse or... Uh, really suggest people doing these things where you deprive yourself to extreme measures. But what I would say is that if you put yourself on a healthy diet and you remain consistent with it, you'll definitely lose your weight. It's a consistency that people have difficulty with such that once they reach a goal like you did, right. that then they sometimes find themselves falling back into that spontaneous habit of eating whenever or whatever they want. And right. you just have to understand you just can't do that. It's I tell you what, that that is so true for struggling with my weight for so many years and finding you. And the routine, really, it's almost like you find strength in the routine. You've got it. I have a... I think we we haven't talked since um, Buzz Brown was on the cover of Ledoux, Mag- Ledoux News Magazine, the guy that lost uh, 243 pounds in a year. Right. Did you say that? Yeah. yeah. He lost – so many people have come up to me and said, how in the heck did someone lose over 240 pounds in one year? And it's simply through the consistent day-to-day action of making time for the exercise. He's a teacher, so he would wake up at 2 in the morning right. so he could get to the gym to use the one treadmill that would hold his weight. I mean, such, such a, a testament to his tremendous courage and getting there and getting it done and his work ethic. If you can make it a must for yourself so that every day exercise is a priority, it's not something that you're, well, I'll get to it at the end of the day, but rather this is just something I do. It's like right. when you get up and you put on clothes every day, you don't give a lot of thought to what kind of socks you're going to put on. You just do it. But so many people put so much thought into what food they're going to eat. Like, listen to the last segment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, tell me about it. I but, was getting scared. <laughs> but, but you know what, though? The interesting thing about exercise and, and, and you, we should tell people, you, your exercise, you start people off um, walking on the treadmill. Which, Just the treadmill, yeah. Which I couldn't believe. I was running, and you were like, no, stop running, walk on the treadmill. And now you have me doing, doing stairs. But, uh, and this, this happens to me. You're driving to the gym. You're like, no, I can't. I, I can't. <laughs> 40 minutes on the stairs? No, I, I can't. And then you end up doing it, and you feel like a million bucks. You feel so much better afterwards. They say that 80% of a workout is just getting yourself to the gym, because once you're there, you really don't have an option but to work out right, right, right. for most people. Right. The the key is is getting yourself there, making it such that it's a scheduled appointment day to day. I always recommend if you're a busy executive or if you're a stay-at-home parent, whatever your role is, to make it something that you just schedule, just like your foods. If the one thing you could do today especially in the summertime when eating is a lot less structured for most because their kids are home from school and everything else, right. is to go ahead and set up a diet so that you organize what foods you're going to eat in advance. And I would recommend not putting a lot of variety in there because more variety tends to create more difficulty for people to adhere to a program. You also have people drink protein shakes in the morning. Which, Absolutely. That's one of them. You can mm-hmm. take away my car. You can take away my phone. Just don't ever take away my protein shake. <laughs> yeah, there's a, that's one option I give a lot of. I always say have a, a nice set of complex carbs at breakfast with some protein. And for a lot of my clients, I'll recommend a nice whey protein shake blended with oatmeal. That's what you really like. Right, right, right. It sounds crazy blending protein and oatmeal, but it tastes really good. Actually. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it's a little maple brown low. I, I do the low sugar. You, 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 you want me to do the weight loss one. <laughs> I do the low sugar one. But whatever. If, if you just go to GNC, you can pick up a, a container of any high quality whey protein. Go to a supplement store that actually knows their stuff. Ask them what's the highest grade of whey protein that they have. A J Rob's a real good one. And pick that up. 
blend it with some oatmeal, some ice, a little bit of flaxseed oil, and that's a great way to start your day right off the bat. You are not a sponsor of this show. Uh, start to lose is the only whey protein out there. That stuff is <laughs> that stuff is the best. And the one day your gym was out of it, and there was almost a, I mean there was almost a riot. Yeah, my office is over on uh, Watson Road and Powerhouse Gym, and they have a really good uh, a brand there called S Two L or start to lose protein. And, and you were out for a day or two, and there was, a, I mean, there was literally going to be a run. People were outside with pitchforks. Yeah, a lot of people really like that stuff. That yeah. guy gets it in and it tastes really good. Uh, how do we get a hold of you? The best thing is to go to my website. It's www.charlesdangelo, C-H-A-R-L-E-S-D-A-N-G-E-L-O.com, charlesdangelo.com, or just call me at 314-495-3228. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. See you next month. All right, it's uh, 9 o'clock, KTRS St. Louis.